Island, ecco qua l'Aura. Cecilia? Sì. Bravissima, eh, complimenti. Grazie. Scusa, buongiorno, scusa, l'elefante sì. eh, all'inizio della Biennale, cosa significa il, nel padiglione italiano? Questo, padiglione il, centrale, il padiglione italiano. centrale, sì. Eh, che cosa significa? Significa mettere un, un bellissimo animale sul piede sala dove dovrebbe esserci un uomo. Dove dovrebbe esserci dove un uomo? Dove normalmente c'è un uomo, no? Eh, Sul di Fiedistale. solito. Sì. Comunque non sempre. Molto eh, no. Aspetta che devo salutare. Ciao! All fine. This is my colleague Manuela Hansen. Eccomi per la Highline. Abbiamo We Go Inside. Prego. is a portrait of Asmara with a river going through this kind of modernist scene. Was this built in here? I mean, so here are these pieces, they come in pieces and then they were assembled for a month in a plan. Month. So I can tell you the entire arsenale was this color. Because uh -huh. everybody was oh. 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 clean, but it was and, not clean. So we're moving them to chop them off. So the small ones are in two parts, this one is in three parts, and then if somebody buys them or if he goes up, they reassemble. My Canadian artist, called Rosanna Paolino, who makes these gorgeous drawings that often depict <laughs> metamorphosis or moments of transformation between a woman and a plant or a woman and a, an insect. While on the other side, you have a Sami artist from northern Sweden called Britta Marakat Labba, 
who makes these gorgeous uh, embroideries that depict uh, um, traditional, like scenes of everyday life in our Sami community. I urge you to go very close to see how beautiful they are stitched together. I mean, the white wall is uh, one of them. We're gonna enter it soon. It's, it's a tiny space. Uh, and then the work around this, uh, this, this uh, capsule sort of uh, are reminiscent of the same themes that we see inside. So we go inside and take a look at this beautiful, big little car. the Arsenal, there is just one more, uh, and this is uh, inspired by the idea of the vessel, so the container, the pot it has a long, very long title that I won't recite, but the, the inspiration is a text by the sci-fi author uh, Ursula Le Guin, who wrote this text in which she uh, follows uh, the, the idea that the birth of civilization and the birth of technology is not as it's often depicted, the idea of the weapon or the caveman that use a very long weapon to go chase uh, animals, but it's actually the first invention, the first technological invention was the container, the bag, the vessel, two hands together that women use to gather seeds and collect grains for sustainment. So this uh, presentation uh, explores and investigates the idea of the vessel as a metaphor also for the body. So you see lots of concave shapes, shells, uh, eggs, uh, starting from this gorgeous installation by Ruth Azawa, who is an artist from, is an American artist of Japanese origin who uh, made these gorgeous sculptures by knitting metal wire, uh, where it's very hard to distinguish the inside and the outside or on this vitrine you will see this gorgeous ceramic sculpture by <laughs> which in a way are the opposite, they're complete, they're complete and close, they look almost like uh, celestial bodies. Uh, these are some <laughs> prints by Maria Sibilla Merriam who uh, in the 60s in the 17th, in the 18th century, uh, joined some of the uh, Dutch exploration of Suriname to depict and capture the flora and fauna of the, of the place. This, the show also includes uh, not just artworks, but also artifacts. These are uh, quite exceptional papier mache models of the evolution of the fetus inside the human body made in the, 18th, in the 19th century and were used by a woman called Aletta Jacobs, who was the first woman to attend university in Holland and who went on teaching and taught especially uh, female anatomy. It's like you can see these incredible uh, examples. On the wall there you have two surrealist artists, one is called Bridget Titchener, who one leg. about the connections between the one you've seen inside and what you see outside. In Ares Sampitas, for instance, the artists of Thailand often depict vessels and offering vessels, <coughs> also the breasts as a vessel. We 
this is an artist called Felipe Baeza. He's an artist from Mexico. <coughs> he's uh, in New York. Uh, you might recognize his work because he's one of the four artists that landed his eyes to the graphic identity of the show. So the purple eye comes from one of these. No, it's not one of these collages, but it's, it's his work. And he often uh, depicts the body in moments of metamorphosis. Uh, with plants, uh, with trees, and uh, with other uh, natural elements. And if you get close, they're very beautiful and textural, they mixed media collage, but he also sends them down, so they're quite special. Okay. And these faces are by an artist called Magdalene Odundo, who also uh, looks at the form of the vessel, as the form of the body as a vessel, so they, of course, abstract, but some of the details remind you of bodies and all of these Uh, and she makes these gorgeous, gorgeous drawings uh, that often depicts uh, uh, human bodies and bodies that are changing and transforming. But what's gorgeous is that they are covered with wax. So when you look at them carefully, they have a very nice uh, materiality and sensuality to the paper that almost reminds you of, you know, icons and what you see, like drawings that you see in churches. But come in. And she has a series of leporellos on the back. And on that side is Noah Davis, who wonderful artist space who was raised in LA. Ceci. Comment Ce sont les capsules euh, transhistoriques. C'est-à-dire capsules euh, Alors, l'Allemagne la, a, a passé son expo en sec euh, capsules. En lève ton masque. En masque. Oui, en, en sec capsules. Et celle-ci, c'est la capsule cyborg. Donc, mmh. euh, toujours l'idée d'hybridation, transformation. Hein. C'est quel artiste Et puis il y a la couleur de l'Estrègue, il y a cinq, cinq <coughs> capsules, et elle les appelle transhistoriques, qui passent à travers l'histoire. Oui, enfin, ce sont des artistes qui, qui interviennent dans son... Ici, c'est vraiment un travail, une thématique qu'elle défend, quoi. Oui, mais c'est vraiment le... La machine, l'homme-machine. Oui, mais en même temps, elle part de l'ancien jusqu'au contemporain. Elle fait un mélange avec des, des figures euh, d'artistes euh, d'époque moderne avec euh, le contemporain. Et ça, et donc, dans les vitrines, tu vois la partie plus historique, si tu veux. Ça... historique, tu vois Oui, avec... Euh, c'est amusant, dans les murs, là. Tu vois, oui, les... c'est ça, c'est ça. Ah oui, on dirait une tête, là. Oui, oui. C'est une tête. En 
Ça a été voulu, hein, ça a été pensé. Ouais. Marie va se dire. Ça, ce sont les années 30. Oui, hein. ben oui. Elle, elle mélange, en trans historique, parce qu'elle mélange les époques euh, d'une manière circulaire et pas linéaire. Ah oui. C'est ça l'idée aussi, hein, je crois. Hein, de, de... Tu penses On pourrait lui poser la question. Oui, il faut lui poser la question, mais. Beau, ça. Ah oui, ça, c'est une artiste. Elle a exposé, elle a exposé à Florence. Une danseuse Oui, c'est une danseuse, mais elle fait des, des sculptures qui sont inspirées à la danse. C'est elle qui fait les sculptures Je pense que oui, mais euh, il faudrait voir... Euh... Mais il, faut, il faudrait retrouver la, la directrice. <rire> 